Most of Sir Topham Hatt's engines were very busy. They could always pull coaches and freight cars, but sometimes they grow conceited. One day, Toby was becoming conceited. He wanted to tell the other engines about wanting to rescue someone. I'd like to rescue others, said Toby. It makes me special. But Gordon and James didn't want to know. You're not as strong as I am, Toby, said Gordon. But you're a rescuer, said James. Never mind, Toby, said Thomas. You can do what you want. So Toby went off happily. He wanted to rescue anyone, no matter what. Toby was looking for someone who needed rescue. Finally, Toby saw Henry, who had broken down with the train of tankers. Hello, Henry, whistled Toby. Henry was concerned. I'll never get the train of tankers to Brenham Docks on time, he groaned. Can you help me, Toby? But what happened to you? asked Toby. I blew a piston, said Henry. Please take me to Brenham Docks, please. Toby was happy. I would love to, Henry, he said. Soon Toby was coupled up to Henry. And together they set off to Brendam Docks. Oh, thank you, Toby, said Henry. Soon, Toby and Henry had to wait at the red signal when Emily passed by with the express coaches. She was wearing out. These coaches are so heavy, Emily said exhaustedly. But she knew she had to try her best. Soon, Emily had to stop because she had no more breath. Oh dear, she said. Now what? Not to worry, Emily, said her driver. Toby will rescue you. Back at the signal, Toby was feeling pleased with himself. Now Emily can't get the passengers to the station on time, said his driver. Would you like to help her out for a moment? Yes, of course, said Toby. Good, said his driver. So, Toby and Henry set off once more. Get moving, Henry, called Toby with spirit. And they set off importantly. We've missed a green signal, said Henry furiously. Soon, Toby could see Emily in the distance. So Toby gently buffered up to the express. Thank you, Toby, said Emily. You are a credit to the railway. It's better than we thought, Emily, said her driver. Toby is going to push us all to Brendam Docks. Let's go, everyone, said Toby. I'm ready, whistled Emily. Yes, I am, called Toby. And away they went. Spencer was waiting as Emily pulled into the station. Thank you, Toby, she said happily. Thank you, Emily, said Toby. You're right on time now. Emily felt very happy. So a steam tram has been rescuing two big green engines.
laughed Spencer. The passengers buzzed out like angry bees, and they forgot to be cross and thanked Toby instead. They called him a really useful steam tram. Now Emily set off to the next station, and Toby and Henry set off to Brendam Docks once more. So Topham Hat was very proud. Well done, Toby, said Sir Topham Hat. You have helped Emily and Henry get their deliveries on time. Thank you, sir, said Toby. Thank you for helping me, Toby, said Henry happily. Toby just beamed. <laughs>